What's up everybody, this is Juno Beats. In this video, we're gonna deconstruct how push-ups dropping me 50, Drake's Kendrick Lamar diss was made in FL Studio. And as always, credit where it is due, this beat was made by several producers. I think we're still getting more information, but at the moment it's produced by Boy Wonder, Tay Keith, Preem, Fierce, Drama Kid, Coleman, and Noel Kadastri, who I think does a lot of the mixing and mastering for Drake. All right, here's another preview and we'll get right into it. So just to orient yourself, at the top you have this reoccurring sample, which we will recreate, as well as the beat switch up towards the end. You have some brass, you have your piano, a lower octave piano, and the rest of these are going to be your drums. So throughout the beat you hear this like violin sample with like some reverse piano keys. Let's try to recreate it. Here's a little snippet. I have no idea if they sampled something or what, but either way, let's recreate it. So in order to do this, we got FL keys, we have Purity playing a violin, and Nexus playing some brass. Here are the piano keys. Next, we're using Purity, the tremolo strings. We were just using uh, Nexus Grandma's AM radio, as well as vinyl strings. So we'll take all that, we'll export it, and here's what we got. If you know the sample, please comment it below. I haven't seen any evidence that they sampled anything, but if they did, nobody seems to know what it is. All right, moving on to this piano, I'll let that transition. Let's recreate this. I just used Nexus, the ballad grand piano. Just some EQing, no other effects. All right, now on to the brass. For this brass, I don't believe it was sampled, but if you listen to the song What's Beef by Biggie, the commission, Uncle Pauly, you'll notice that the strings in that song are playing very similar notes here. So I think what the producers did was interpolate the notes from What's Beef, and they just played it with brass instruments here in FL Studio. It's kind of clever on Drake's part to have the same notes from What's Beef into a diss song. Thought it was pretty creative. So onto the final melody for the first part of the beat, you just have the exact same piano notes going down an octave. Cool, now on to your drums. So I couldn't find the exact snare that they used. I believe two were used throughout the song. Here's the first one. And later in the song, I believe they layer it with a secondary snare. Couldn't find the exact one either, but just played around and layered a few. Here's what I got. Simple two-step hi-hats. You got an open hat coming in and out of the song. For the kick, I'm using one that Tay Keith has used in other beats of his that I've deconstructed, the Big White Kick 52. And for the 808, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this beat wasn't mixed super duper well. Still a hard beat, I liked it, but it was hard to hear the exact 808. So for this, I just grabbed one from a Tay Keith kit called 808 Memphis. And everything together. Towards the end, you got a snippet from a DJ Academics clip. What top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Cause my top five is Drake, Drake, Drake. And then you have the second beat come in. What top five you smoking on, Kendrick? So I definitely like that second beat in the outro. Kind of wish they did more with it, but in order to recreate it, it's pretty simple. So I'm just grabbing a piano in Nexus, the Power Grand. And for effects, kind of important, I just cut out a lot of the frequencies. Um, also ran it through RC20, the Distort Bright Tubes preset, 
And for the stereo shaper, it sounded more like it was towards the back of my headphones, so I just played around with these parameters right here and just had some panomatic just slightly bouncing back and forth between your left and right ear. Next, you have some brass coming in. And for your drums, they're pretty standard. I got these from a Tay Keith Boy Wonder Metro Boomin drum kit. Here you go. And all together. All right, guys, I think that does it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the very end. Hope you liked this. Hope you learned something from it. If you know any of the samples or anything else that was used to recreate this beat that we didn't cover, please comment it down below. I know the community would be very appreciative. Until then, I guess I will catch you all in the next video.